Hello everybody, it's Anna and welcome back to my booktube channel. I'm filming in a slightly different location today with the board games behind me because my front room is currently super hot and super sunny and if I was trying to film in there, I would be blinded by the sun coming in through the windows. Um, so yeah, today I am going to be bringing you the rapid fire book tag, which I most recently watched on Sloan's channel and that reminded me that this was a tag that I wanted to do. And also, things have just been really chaotic lately, so I wanted to film something that would be quick and easy and something that I could get done in not too long amount of time. So without further ado, here we go with the questions. Ebook or physical book? Physical book. It's what I feel more comfortable reading. I'll read ebooks out of convenience or if that's the only way that I'm actually able to get the book affordably, but I will take the physical book almost nine times out of ten. Paperback or hardback? Um, God, this one is so hard to decide because like hardcovers look really good and they have the dust jacket and everything, but they already take up a lot of space and then I get more worried about dinging them up. So maybe paperback because I feel like I'm less stressed about trying to make them work. Next is online or in-store book shopping. In-store, 100%. I did a lot more online book shopping when I lived in a place that didn't really have good bookstores, but I will always prefer to shop for books in the store because I believe in supporting local booksellers and that experience that they provide, that to me is just irreplaceable. Uh, trilogies or series? Um... Hmm. Again, this is another one that's kind of hard to answer because I think so much of it depends on whether it's well done. For a while there, like in the 2012-2015-ish area, we had so many book series that were just coming out as trilogies, 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 these like young adult trilogies. I think I'd have to say series because sometimes I think the trilogy gets a little shoehorned and formulaic, but then again, people can write series poorly too. So... No, no, Heroes or villains? Villains, 100%. I, villains allow you to tell stories that just heroes don't, so I think I will always prefer that. A book you want everyone to read? I want everybody to read Mr. Penumbra's 24-hour bookstore by Robin Sloan. That is my favorite contemporary novel of all time. It is a great book about people that love books and mysteries and fun things that happen when you combine books with technology. Recommend an underrated book. Hmm. I guess I'll go with a book that I read in graduate school. It's called The Princess de Cleve, and it is a French novel from, I believe, the 14 or 1500s. And it is basically like a Pride and Prejudice-esque story before its time. I really enjoyed reading that book, and it was a lot better than I expected. So it was definitely one of those like surprise gems that uh, that I really enjoyed. Okay. The last book you finished. Let's look at Goodreads. It was Monstrous, Volume 1, which is a graphic novel, and I gave it five stars. I really liked that. I actually went straight into reading the second book because of how much I liked it. Okay, the last book you bought. Hmm. I think I have it with me. Be right back. Lumberjane's Bonus Tracks, which is a collection of all of the singly released um, Lumberjanes comics that have finally been gathered together into one volume, and I had every intention of reading this this weekend, but still haven't gotten to it, and for that I am very sad. I just, my life has been crazy busy lately, I've started a new job, and I have had, like, zero time to read or film or anything like that, so, that's sad. Um, let's see, weirdest thing you've used as a bookmark? Like, I want to say there have been times that I've done something like put a bowl of soup or a bowl of ice cream like in between the pages of a book, but honestly that would have been a long time ago when I was like a kid, so, mm hmm. Uh, used books, yes or no? Absolutely yes. I really love buying used. Um, where I was living previously, there was only one really good used bookstore but we had this incredible Friends of the Library sale every year that I really enjoyed and I would always go and spend like 50 or 60 bucks but get 50 or 60 new books and 
I really enjoy used books. I enjoy the fact that they've had a life before me. I enjoy the kind of surprises that you can find um, inside of them. Yeah, used books are a ton of fun. Top three favorite genres. Um, science fiction slash fantasy, historical fiction, and I guess adult literary fiction. Borrow or buy? Um, I think I prefer to buy my books, although I do borrow a lot of them as well, but I guess if there's a book that I really like that I don't have, I will always prefer to buy it and just have it for myself rather than borrow it and read it again. Characters or plot? Uh, I guess I'll just answer this with the non-answer that if you can't write either of them well, why am I even reading your book? Uh, long or short books? I really like long books. I like books that I can feel like I'm really sinking my teeth into and I'm getting a lot out of the story. Yeah, long books it is. Long or short chapters? Short chapters, because I do a lot of reading when I'm like on my lunch break at work or right before bed or something like that. And then it's really hard if your chapter is like 20 pages long to be able to put the book down and be like, okay, it's time to go to sleep in the middle of a chapter, uh, feeling like you have no resolution. So short chapters, long books. Name the first three books that you think of. The Catcher in the Rye, don't even know why because I haven't read it. The Merry Spinster, which is something that I'm currently reading, and A Court of Wings and Ruin because uh, people talk about that a lot on YouTube and I will never read it, but I, that's what I thought of. Books that make you laugh or cry. Um, laugh. I think I cry a lot more at things like movies and TV shows where like there's the visual medium, but I really prefer to read things that make me laugh. Audiobooks, yes or no? Yes, audiobooks. I res listened to a lot more audiobooks when I was in high school because I had a really long commute to my school every day. But um, yeah, even though I haven't listened to them as much as I used to, I really still do enjoy them and I like audiobooks a lot. Do you ever judge a book by its cover? Yes, I do. Sometimes I will buy a book just because the cover looks pretty or looks cool. I've been burned by that before, but when you've read often enough, like we all kind of have to judge some books by their covers really because otherwise we would never like be able to pick out what we actually want to read at any given time. Like I would hate a world in which everything was just that terrible cardstock a proof copy cover that would make me very upset. Book to movie or book to TV adaptations? I guess I'm going to say book to TV because I tend to like book to TV adaptations more than I like book to single movie adaptations just because TV lends itself well to spending more time with the story and being able to like build up to um, build up bigger arcs I suppose. A movie or TV show you preferred to its book? I definitely, okay, I definitely preferred the Lord of the Rings movies to the Lord of the Rings books. Having gone back and like reread The Fellowship of the Ring this year, I'm sorry, but that book just, it's such a drag. It goes on for so long. It's super tedious for the first half. Like nothing really happens. The movie just kind of does away with all of that and makes it very quick and snappy and yeah. I prefer the movie. Series or standalones? Uh, this is another really hard question to answer because it really depends. But I think I'd have to go with series. Just like as a holdover from my childhood, I really love getting a good series that I can sink my teeth into. So that is going to be it for the rapid fire book tag. I will go ahead and leave um, who I tag in the description box down below. And if you're not, you don't see yourself tagged. Um, go ahead and feel free to do it anyway. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!